Hi guys, I'm back! I really want to be like, I'm back bitches, but it's probably not appropriate. But I am back, I am back to filming. The last time I filmed, I think I did like a maternity clothing haul and my daughter, excuse me, I have like hair on my lips. My daughter is now 19 months now, that means I literally have not filmed in like two years. What the heck, what have I been doing with my time? I'll tell you what I've been doing with my time. I've been a mother and I'm ridiculously tired. But today, but today I just wanted to come on here and um, I went shopping recently at Old Ten Target and I just wanted to show you some new stuff that I bought. And some of it I have used, some of it I haven't, so I can give you an opinion on if I like it. So if you want to see what I bought, then just keep watching. So first of all, Philosophy was having a huge sale. Buy one, get one free. That is awesome. Best deal ever. Highly recommend stocking up when they have that sale. So I got my favorite cleanser, which is the Purity Made Simple. Um, this cleanser is awesome. It's so gentle. It doesn't leave my face dry. And you know how it feels really gentle and soft. So I highly, highly recommend it. And then speaking of moisturizers, for a new daytime moisturizer, I got the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. Super cute packaging, like a little corkscrew top. I've, I'm actually almost what quarter of a way done. Um, it's okay. I like it. It's not like my total favorite. I think I'm going to go back to the Neutrogena um, Water Moisturizer. I do prefer that one and it is a little bit cheaper. And then for nighttime, I got the Clinique Moisture, Shirt, Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator. That is a mouthful. I actually really like this one. The packaging is really pretty. It's like, a um, it's like a glass container and like a really pretty pink. Um, but as you can see, I'm about halfway done with that. I really like it. I think it's very, it's a very like thick moisturizer. I like to use it at night, but it doesn't feel like greasy or oily on the skin and it doesn't like leave a residue on my pillow or anything. So I think I'm going to stick with this one at nighttime. And then when it comes to like tanning, because I am freaking pale as all can be, I got the, uh, and I don't like to go in a tanning bed. So I got the Copper Tone Gradual Tan Sunless Tanning. I can only find this at Walmart. Um, Target definitely doesn't have it, and I think on Amazon it was actually really expensive. So I really like this sunless tanning. It has a nice smell. It doesn't smell like that top ramen fried skin smell that sometimes the tanning lotions have. So I like this one, and usually within about two days I can actually notice a difference on my legs. It gives a nice glow. And then for days that, you know, you have an event and you're going out and you're wearing a nice dress or whatever and you want to show off your legs and you want your legs to look perfect the Sally Hansen airbrush legs and the color tan is awesome now when you first put it on it looks a little crazy it looks really dark it gets all over your hands but trust me once you blend it in then it looks awesome your eggs your eggs your legs look airbrushed they look flawless they're tan there's no varicose veins there's no scarring like they just look perfect and it won't wash off until you go and take a shower it's not gonna like rub off on your clothes or anything so highly highly recommend that and then for bodies this is all for my girls that you know get waxed or sugared this is the completely bare hair removal bikini bump blaster so um, I get waxed so it comes with these little pads like you get ingrown hairs when you do wax because you have to really exfoliate every other day. So it comes with a little pad, it kind of reminds me of like the Neutrogena pads and um, you just wipe that on after your shower and I don't get any more ingrown hairs. It just really helps with the bumps and I think it even said, it has like a citrus smell but I don't even notice it at all. It says it reduces the appearance of ingrown hair and bumps, helps smooth skin soothing green tea extract. It doesn't burn or anything. So highly, highly recommend that. And you can find that at Ulta and I believe it's like five bucks and you get 50 pads. So it lasts me quite some time. And I probably only use it maybe like every three days. So you don't have to use it all the time. Um, speaking of hair removal, I love the Nair hair removal face cream. So I don't know about you guys, but I have a hairy face. I get like the baby peach fuzz all over the place. So I use this probably about every three weeks and it makes my face so soft. You just put it on like a thin layer, leave it on for about five minutes and then take a warm washcloth and completely wipe it off. Um, 
sometimes afterwards I definitely have to put a moisturizer on right away. It will be like a little bit red, kind of a little, but it's not like irritated where I shouldn't be using it. You can just tell that it was actually working and taking off the hair. And then afterwards my face is so smooth and my makeup just looks flawless. So highly, highly recommend that. This is my second tube now, so I've been using it for quite some time. L'Oreal just came out with one. It's the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible foundation blender so I can't wait to try that out. I've heard a lot of people say it's actually really good and a really good dupe for the beauty blender so we're gonna try that. Um, I also got the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It definitely fills in your pores. It doesn't help with like oiliness or anything. So for my oily girl, so for my oily girls this won't work for you. But if you do have larger pores like me right in your T-zone um, I definitely recommend this to help smooth out your makeup. And then speaking of foundation, I did get one new foundation to try. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Foundation. I got the color Natural, so I'm super excited to try this. Um, LA Girl is actually a really affordable makeup brand that you can find at Ulta. So if you want me to do a tutorial on a first impression, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I also restocked my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I got the color Golden Beige and Desert Beige. Um, this one's awesome. I think it's only like 3 or $4. It's great price. You can find it at the drugstore. I believe Target carries Wet n Wild, Walmart, Ulta. So highly, highly recommend this. It looks great in pictures. It just makes your skin look flawless. And for the price, you can't beat it. And then my go-to everyday natural makeup foundation look is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Right now I'm using the color 220 because I do have a little bit of a sunburn, not really even a tan. Um, but when I'm fairer, fair, I use the color 210. Um, it's really good. It's very like natural looking. It doesn't look cakey. So it almost doesn't even feel like you're wearing makeup. So for those of you that don't like foundation, don't like that cakiness, I highly recommend that. And then for concealer, this is something new that I want to try. I feel like for concealers, like I tried the, um, what's the one that everybody's raving about? The shape, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I tried that one and I don't understand like what the big fuss was about. I didn't feel like it covered my dark circles at all. Maybe my dark circles are just out of control and not like normal people's, I don't know. But I was like, for the price, this is not doing anything. My eye and under eye area looks exactly the same. So um, people have been talking about the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. So I got that one in the color Porcelain. So I can't wait to try that out. And then for powder, I did get three, yeah, three powders. So I got the CoverGirl True Blend Mineral Powder in Translucent Light. It's good, but sometimes, because I'm oily, I have to put a lot of powder on my skin. And I feel like this one can get a little cakey at times. So I don't think I'm going to um, repurchase that one. But maybe if you're not oily, then it would work for you really well and it's affordable. And then I got the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, Rach Loves was talking about this on her um, YouTube channel. It's definitely a really loose powder, as you could see. It has that total grandma smell that I'm sure as soon as you guys open it, you're going to be like, oh my god, this is totally my grandma. But when you put it on, it doesn't have that smell. I've only used it one time, so I can't give like an accurate description like if I love it but I got it on Amazon and it was only five bucks so I'm really really hoping that I do like that and then I believe this is a trans yeah this is a translucent color and then I also got which everybody talks about is the RCMA makeup artist I didn't even say no color powder so it comes in this packaging awful packaging I hate this packaging I try to do it like it's literally like a salt and pepper shaker like what the hell maybe that's why it's so cheap but it's 18 bucks and you get three ounces so you get a huge amount but how do you work with this like you literally can't it's going to be spilling all over the place so on Amazon they sell the um actually this one you can't really see they sell powder sifters so you pour the powder in there and then you put the lid and it has a little teeny tiny hole. So I poured about half of the RCMA powder in there and that's how I'm actually able to use it and it's not making a ginormous mess. And for, on Amazon you can get two and I believe they were like $7. 
And then this, the RCMA powder, is actually, it's not $18. With the shipping, it was $18. It's cheaper on the RCMA website because if you go on Amazon, I think it was like $20 or $22. Bucks. So go on the RCMA powder website for this. I think it's awesome. I use this to bake. I mean, super cheap. It does not leave my face cakey at all. And trust me, I put a lot of powder on. I think it lasts, um, I would say like a good like four hours. Now I am oily, like I said, so I do have to like re-blot and re-powder, but it doesn't look cakey. It makes your skin look really soft. So I really do like that. And then, oh my gosh, my back is hurting from sitting like this. Um, this is my second palette of this. It's the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzing Palette. This is supposed to be a dupe for NARS um, Laguna Bronzer. So it is the St. Lucia Palette, and I love it. I hit pan on my other one, so I had to buy a new one. So let me take off the... It looks like that. Super pretty bronze, bronzer. The blush is really, really light. So if you don't really like the look up of a blush, you want something light. It's just a really light pink. Um, see the bronzer? Like you can, it's a really light color. If you are dark skinned, I don't know if this would work for you. But for me, that's what I'm wearing today. I don't like to contour. It's not a contour color at all. I just like to bronze with it, give my skin like a little bit of a glow. And then I used the blush today as well and then for some more these are like blush bronzer illuminators I wouldn't use these as bronzers at all like I don't think they really show up these are by NYX they're the baked blush bronzer illuminators so I got the color Wanderlust so it's like a pink gold shimmery color and then this one is Sugar Mama um, more of like an orangey so Someone recommended these on Instagram. Let me see if I could swatch. I, I mean, you can't even like, where is the swatch? Right there. You can't even see that swatch. And so when I put it on the skin, maybe it should be more of just like a highlighter. But it says bronzer illuminator on there. Like this one you could, I don't think you can even pick that up on the camera. On my skin you can kind of see it. So the first one's definitely like more peachy. The second one's more of like a pink highlight. Maybe I'm just not a fan of highlights at all, but uh, I, I, I mean, I wish I could have returned these because I just kind of feel like it was a waste of my money. So the next fake blushes, uh, not too much of a fan of those. Sorry about that. Um, for mascara, L'Oreal just came out with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is supposed to be a dupe for Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, it actually, I mean, even the packaging looks just like it. So I don't want to open it yet because I'm still using up my favorite Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. But um, this is what it looks like. Super cute packaging. And yeah, it totally looks like the Too Faced one. So I can't wait to try that because everybody says it is awesome. And then for liners, I just like a good old, you know, drugstore liner, nothing fancy. So I got the NYX Liquid Black Liner. It's just your normal, you know, black liner. Like this is what the tip looks like. I don't do winged liner or anything because I'm not good at it, which I want to try. I'm going to keep working on it. And then I also got this one by e.l.f. It's the Intense Ink Eyeliner in the color black as well. This one's cool because it's more like a marker. Like you can really draw with it. So I can't wait to try that. Um, the NYX one, I always go back to NYX. I always go back to the NYX liners. They're only two to three bucks. You can't beat the price on that. And then let's see. Um, I told you this was a lot. I spent a lot of money. If only my husband knew, he would freaking kill me. I've been trying to hide this box for a while. <laughs> Um, and then for eyebrows, I, this is what I'm wearing today. It's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Ash Brown. My total favorite. It reminds me of Anastasia. Hi. Hey. <laughs> um, some people say that the liner is not as thick as... Hey, stop. I'm filming. As the Anastasia one, I personally like it. It's 10 bucks. It has the spoolie on the end. I love having the spoolie. It's 10 bucks for one. Sometimes, um, a lot of times Ulta does the buy one get one half off. So that's when I will stock up. The Anastasia one's 20 bucks. So for the price, like you can't beat it. Those are my little monsters ready in the background. Um, for eyeshadow, what I'm wearing today is the Maybelline Nude Glow. 
So especially for the summer, I don't like to wear a ton of makeup. I like to just have something simple to put on. So I do like a bronzer and then um, the Maybelline Nude Glow or just any like shimmery color, which I'm actually going to do a tutorial on just like a natural everyday look. So this is the Nude Glow. So you could see it. I mean, it's just a really pretty shimmery shade that you can wear every day, wear to work. You still look put together, but you don't look like you're trying too hard and have a ton of makeup on. And then I also got these to go as well on the, hi, on my eyes. Um, these are the Stila, what do they call them exactly? The Stila Magnificent, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Holy moly. I got the colors Kitten Karma, hey, Kitten Karma and Diamond Dust. So I do wear Kitten Karma a lot. Hey, Stila's, um... One of Stila's top eyeshadows is actually Kitten, which I do have in the pencil form as well. But this is, I mean, look how just like, I'm horrible at swatches. Like, look how just like creamy that is. And then it's so pigmented and so pretty and glittery. My son loves, he calls it my glitter eyes. No, leave that there. He loves when I do my glitter eyes. So I do that a lot and it just looks, I mean, you look like you actually tried and put some effort into your makeup, but really, I mean, you just do like a quick swatch. Excuse me. Thanks, Esther. Thank you. <laughs> Get over there. <laughs> and then this one is Diamond Dust. So for all you unicorn lovers, this one would be for you. So that's just a really pretty, like, silver metallic color. It would look really nice. This one would be probably, like, a little bit more dressy. So I would wear this. I'm going to do like a red lip, maybe even like a little bit smoky eye, and then put this in the corner. That would be super, super pretty. So there's um, Kitchen mm. Karma and, I just forgot the name, Diamond Dust. So love like that. Yeah. And then, um, I can't ever say her last name, and I should probably get something to wipe this off before it's all over. But um, the Housewives from Atlanta, Kim Zolziak. So she has her own line. It's the cashmere line. So I did get two of her products because she was having a sale. I got the um, Sunless Tanning Lotion, which is actually almost gone. I'm almost done with it. It's not a tanning lotion to where you put it on and then you wait like a couple hours and it's gonna you're gonna be tan and you gotta wash it off. This is actually more like a lotion, like I showed you earlier with the um, copper tone. It's like the same exact kind of concept. So for the price, I want to say this was oh my gosh, twenty bucks, twenty five bucks. For the price, I would definitely. Hey, you're ruining my makeup here. My makeup stuff. <laughs> For the price, I would definitely go with the um, Copper Tone. It's way cheaper, and I feel like it does the exact same thing. This one does... Ken, no. This one does have a really good scent. It it smells really nice. It's like a coconut. Like You feel like you're down at the Bahamas or something. But for the price, I just feel like there's so much better that you can just get at the drugstore. And then I also bought the Skin Toning Oil... Um, it just says it's supposed to bring skin back to life, soothes and, nu and nourishes, um, absorbs quickly for a younger toned appearance. Uh, it's nice. I like it. But like I said, for the price, I just feel like there's just better out there. And it does have a really good smell. And I know the Kardashians even always talk about this. So that's actually why I bought it. And then it smells great. I mean, it definitely makes your legs like really moisturized. A lot of times I'll use this before I tan. But for the price, I just feel like there is more out there. This other one that I got, this one's from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Paints, and it is in the color Spicy Blush. This one is really, really light. Um, so if you're a person that doesn't really like makeup, or this would be like a great liquid lipstick to wear to work. So I'll swatch that one as well. So like I said, that's what I'm wearing today. It doesn't like totally show up really bright, so you don't have to worry about just like looking like you're trying too hard. Um, if you like something really light, I would definitely try that one. And this one was only a couple bucks as well. The last thing I got were some new lip liners. Um, they're all drugstore. I love a drugstore lip liner. I don't feel like you have to go out and spend $20, $30 on a lip liner to get the same effect. So I love Wet n Wild. Their lip liners are super creamy. I got the color, what color is this one? Bear to comment. Let me 
watch that one here. So just like I said, another, you know, mauve nude. That one's super pretty. I love liquid I love lip liners that look more like the your lip, but maybe a little bit better. And then this is by Revlon. It's the color nude. As you can see, like I love a nude mauve color. So I got the colors Coco K, Posy K, Dulce K, and Candy K, and they all come with the matching lip liners. Oh my gosh, I actually really, really like these. I wasn't sure like if I was gonna like them or was like, oh, it's all just like the hype or whatever. But Candy K and Dulce K are my favorite. They smell awesome. They smell like a cake batter. It smells so good. I think the packaging is super cute. So I highly, highly recommend those. I haven't tried anything else. I haven't tried like her highlighters or her eyeshadow palettes or anything, but I definitely will say that her lip kits are pretty awesome. I mean, you get the lip liner, I mean, the liquid lipstick plus the lip liner. They stay on for a really long time. They don't feel like super dry. They don't feel like they make your lips cracked or anything. So definitely recommend those. But if you do not want to spend the money and you want more of like a drugstore option, the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Liners, Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the color Rebel Rose. I definitely recommend these as well. Let's do a little swatch here. So you can see I love my mauve Nudes. Super pretty color. Um, it doesn't make your lips dry as well. It lasts for quite some Bye. It lasts for quite some time. So I definitely recommend these. The Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipsticks. This is the color Rebel Rose. Like I said, it's super good. Um, lip liners are really good too. They're really creamy. Oh my gosh, my child. So there's that one. And then let's talk about lipsticks. So I'm gonna do a separate video on these because I'm gonna do a whole like swatch video on these, but I finally joined the bandwagon and I got the um, Kylie lip kits. I got four of them. She was having a sale, so I just couldn't resist. Hey! I couldn't resist. Um, as you can see, this is another one from Revlon. This is in the color Plum. That one's more of like a berry color. And then last but not least is one by NYX. And it is in the color Nude Beige. So this one's more of like a pencil. The other ones are more like creamy. So this one is your normal pencil. But I mean just as creamy in a pencil form. While the other ones are like that twist up top. But just as good. So... I think that's finally it. I am seriously out of breath. I probably repeated myself a million times. I'm sorry. I'm getting back into the whole video thing. If you want me to do a tutorial using certain products, be sure to let me know. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials and you're excited that I am filming again. With that being said, have a great day. I will talk to you guys later in my next video and see you later.